A heinous act of violence. A mother and five children found dead inside a North Naples home. Kill a family like that, even the kid I understand is a one years old. They died. Oh my God, I don't know what, what to tell you, man. That's too much. NBC2 is covering all the angles tonight, from the latest in the police investigation to the family and friends who love them. The little kindergartner was had just finished learning all of his letters. He was very proud. His teacher was very proud of him. The news you count on starts now. Live, the news you count on. NBC2, News at 6. That in no uncertain terms, this is the most horrific and violent event this community has ever experienced. The loss of these six hits close to home for the members of the First Haitian Baptist Church in Naples. It's a church the family attended for nearly two decades. As MEC2 Sarah Hollenbeck tells us, church members say this homicide has left them with many unanswered questions. Several church members heard the tragic DeMoss family story for the first time this morning. Their reaction? Powerful. The DeMoss family had been attending this church for 20 years until they mysteriously stopped coming nine months ago. I've been talking with uh, family, but they don't say the reason why. Church members say Gerline and the children came to church about a dozen times without Masick. Eventually, the whole family stopped coming. We can understand why that is happening in that family, because they yeah, love Jesus so much. The grandparents still attend the church regularly. Several church members gathered at their home until 3.30 yesterday morning to give their support. When something happened from one of us, we all stand together. They say they're confused. Masick always seemed like such a loving father to the children. I understand He's a one years old. Get died. Oh my God! I don't know what what to tell you, man. That's too much. It happened for a reason. We don't know why, but it's happened for a reason. Church members say this is a huge loss for the Haitian community. You're gonna need hugs. You're gonna need kisses, and all we can do is just uh, uh, have a shoulder for people to lean on at this time, and that's what the church is providing to the families. They say they hope God can provide the rest, including some answers. In Naples, Sarah Hollenbeck, NBC2. We've been working this story from almost every angle today. We're going to go now to Keegan Feeney, who was at the Collier County Sheriff's Office command post, where a press conference wrapped up about an hour ago. A family is destroyed. Every homicide is tragic. However, this is the worst of the worst. 32-year-old Gerline DeMoss and her five children, 9-year-old Mizak, 6-year-old Marvin, 5-year-old Maven, 3-year-old Megan, and 11-month-old Morgan, all found dead Saturday night in their North Naples home. Gerline's family had reported Friday the condo had fallen eerily quiet. Neighbors say cries of agony broke the silence. Her brother just screamed. He killed my sister. He killed my sister. Investigators are calling 33-year-old Mazak Damas, Gerline's husband and the father of her children, a person of interest in the homicide. But they say Damas flew home to Haiti Friday morning, less than a day after Gerline and the kids were last seen alive. Police found his vehicle at Miami's International Airport. But we have no indication that uh, there is a uh, murderer on the loose. Still, Stratford Place is filled with shock and disbelief from neighbors who say DeMoss was one of the greatest fathers in the neighborhood. I thought he should have been nominated for Father of the Year the way he, he doted over the kids and watched them and interacted with them. Now deputies are reaching out to Haitian officials to find the man they believe may know how six lives ended. The mood was also somber at the Publix on Vanderbilt Beach Road and Airport Pulling Road. That is where Geraldine worked for more than 10 years. We were told she stocked shelves for the supermarket. Employees say she will be deeply missed.